Now we have six baby alligators for the Reptarium. What? Are you kidding me? We had two. We have, and now we how have many a lot. do we have? I'm gonna kill you, that's what I think. Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. When I got the Reptarium started, one of the things I was really excited about was to offer the ability for people to feed the alligators. So I wanted to have a bunch of baby alligators that people could actually feed here at the Reptarium. So one of the exhibits that I was really excited about, of course, was this alligator exhibit here where you guys know that I have a couple little alligators. Originally, I really wanted to put salt and pepper, the albino and black alligator in here, but I really realized is that once I put them in there, they just kind of disappeared and that kind of freaked me out too much. So I decided that I would not keep them in here and I got a couple normal alligators to kind of test it out. Well, Chomper that's in here somewhere and the other one are doing really well, but again, they kind of disappear a little bit in here. So we decided that it was time to up the amount of alligators that we had. So guess what? Today, I've got some new baby alligators in. You guys know that I'm friends with the guys from Gatorland and they're the ones that sent me the first two alligators and I've told you before we have basically a system where we're gonna get a bunch of baby alligators once they get about a year old they're gonna be too big for this enclosure we send them back they send us some babies again which by the way is gonna be a little bit of a bummer because we are already getting attached to these guys but listen I only have so much space so that's how it's gonna go and again that vision of allowing kids and everyone else to be able to feed and hold little alligators only works if they're babies unfortunately so they sent us four more alligators and I'm gonna get a chance to take a look at them oh Oh my gosh, and it's awesome because they are about the same size, but I will tell you this much right now, uh, my guys are a little bit more chunky than this, so I think that I've been feeding them a little bit, but take a look at this cute little dude here, and the fact that they're from the exact same area means that I don't really have to quarantine them, which is really good because they're all from Gatorland, they were all kept the exact same way, so I'm going to go ahead and just release all four of these little babies and see what's going on, hopefully with all six of them, and the fact that we've been clicker training them to come to food, within the next week or two, we we can start to offer that ability for you to come in and actually feed these little monkeys right here. Look at how cute. There you go, buddy. There you go. There he is. He just swims right over there. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. So hopefully these guys will get settled in and get along with the other two. I am pretty excited to see how six of these goes. Because again, I will tell you that even though Chomper and the other one that we've had for the last couple of months have really gotten settled in and actually most of the time they're out and about, they do still disappear from time to time. So having six of them in is probably going to be really, really awesome. And here is number two. Ooh, these guys are really pretty. And they're really the perfect size. Again, I was a little bit concerned because of course when we got Chomper, it was only like like this big. And when I talked to my friends at Gatorland, I said, try to send me the biggest one of the babies you had. And they did a really good job. Size-wise, they're absolutely perfect. There you go, little buddy. There you go. There you go. <laughs> that is awesome. And here's the other one already hanging out. He's swimming around. Oh my gosh. They're both swimming around. They seem to be settling in good. We've got two more to open. And for those of you that have been asking over the last little bit, salt and pepper did not come from Gatorland. They were bought from somewhere else and they are staying here forever. They're not going back after a year. And a lot of people have said, what are you gonna do when salt and pepper get larger? And as a matter of fact, maybe later in the vlog, I'll weigh them to see what their growth rate is. You know, I like to check in once a week or so. Oh my God, look at how beautiful that is. We'll continue to just build bigger habitats for salt and pepper as they get larger. Don't you worry, they're staying at the Reptarium forever, at least at least some Reptarium, whether it be this one or another one in the future, I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, this is number three right here. There you go, bud. That one's a little bit bigger, but it doesn't seem to be an issue. You can see this is when, that's the first one that we opened up here. That's the last one. Definitely quite a bit larger, but should be really good. And just having the five of them in here already, you're starting to see there's a lot more of them for sure. So that should be really good when people come in. Cause again, I don't want people to come in and be like, I see the gator tank, but I can't find the gators. Look at how cute this one is right here. And the last little monkey. Okay, this one's a little bit more like the size of the first one, a little bit smaller definitely with the food regiment that we keep them on these guys are going to be growing like crazy so there it is guys now we have six baby alligators for the reptarium i am so excited just to see how these guys settle in and to be able to start working with them again two originals that we have are already doing really good with clicker training so oftentimes crocodilians are so good about learning that i think that the two coming for the clicker training should have all six of them and with any luck within the next couple weeks these guys will all just be ravenous feeders and then i'll have footage of actual patrons of the reptarium coming in and feeding the little baby alligators. There you go, bud. 
There we go. There we go, buddy. There we are. Oh my gosh. They are so adorable. Dog nose are so absolutely cute. Take a look at this little super conda here. Oh my gosh, these guys are gorgeous. One of the things I definitely want to do this year is add a bunch more hog nose to my colony. I absolutely love them and been working with hog nose for a long, long time. At one point, we probably had a couple hundred adult hog nose. Since we've kind of downsized, we have a good group of them, but we really need to get some of the newer mutations because looking at little things like the super conda here just absolutely warm my heart. How cute is that? What in the world is that spider doing? Oh my gosh. You guys know I've been getting into the arachnids a lot lately. Well, I am finally going to start building the arachnid well today. It's probably going to take me a couple weeks because I do have to travel to Europe and I still need a bunch of material and all kinds of different stuff. But we're going to go ahead and build the rack today and that way we can start to slowly get things over there over the next couple, two to three weeks and that net will be done. I absolutely love them, but this spider is freaking me out right now. Ooh, doggy. I tell you, that's actually my Mexican red knee, and she is a pistol. Usually they're super, super docile. This is not Queen Elizabeth, by the way. Anyways, let's go ahead and build this rack. The first thing we have to do is we have to get all our marking. We've got to cut all our wood for the shelf systems. We got all our pieces cut. Now we just have to kind of nail them all together. Again, we'll nail the shelves together and then we'll nail them to the outside and then we'll just put it all together. And it's gonna be right here is where the arachnid wall is gonna be. And again, it's not gonna be finished for a couple more weeks, but at least we'll start to see what it actually looks like. All the shelves are made now. Now it's just a matter of assembling it onto the stand and then uh, you'll start to see what it's gonna look like. But again, it's gonna be a long way off before it's really the way we want it. But at least you'll start to get an idea. I get excited about just seeing the progress. <laughs> We're about to have an arachnid wall. a quick update on the little Kenyan Sambos that were born a couple weeks ago. They've now shed and a bunch of them have eaten. They look absolutely incredible. It's kind of neat just to see how a little tiny snake like this could grow up so quickly. And of course these guys are what they call sexually dimorphic, meaning that the males actually don't get really large. Most of my males are only like 12 to 14 inches, whereas females can get as large as three foot and pretty heavy body. So nevertheless, such a cute little snake and a feisty little monkey too. Hey, I want to show you guys. Check this out. This is pretty cool. Check it out. Sir, what do you got? Look at it. looks like the same two alligators. Wait. But there's more in there. Trust me. Where are the other ones? There's more? You got more? Yeah, we got more alligators. Oh, Check them no out. way. Oh, I see another little one right yeah. there. Yeah, you're Go right. Check them out. Stick your yeah, hand yeah, in there. Yeah, Grab yeah. them out. Yeah, he's a friendly one, right? They're Come all on. friendly, dude. They're from Gatorland. Right oh my there. gosh. That stuff is actually now there's a total of six of them in here. So There's a total of six? Yeah, yeah, I would never six. know. I know. And look at how chunky ours oh are compared. Oh my gosh. They are. They're Our, barrel. I think ours are feet getting fed a little bit too much. <laughs> oh to my gosh. This is probably the way that they're supposed to look. Ours are, look at how chunky that one is. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh my Eric. That's God. unbelievable. Oh. That's, that's one of the old ones. Damn, what? These are the two chunk Rats ones, they're old gators. ones. Whoa! I thought that was a gator. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a gator. I, I, my arm touched it. I'm like, it's oh, got don't me. be off of gators. <laughs> Oh, I'm a cut you deal. You want to hold this one? I'll grab one. Here, let me you. grab one for you. Gosh, it's unbelievable. Look at this. Take me two seconds. How did you do that? How the hell did you do that? Oh, oh man. These things are. Oh my gosh. No, it's got a wow. Oh, oh. Sorry. <laughs> I can't say that. These things give me so scared. Oh my God. These oh. things. How do you yeah. hold them? How do you oh, hold them? Get you. Oh, Noah, Noah look at. How do look you it. hold them? Look at. How do you hold them? Look at. It's you're, fine. Oh. You're lucky Big Mama's not around. She came over and got gotcha. you. <laughs> this is silly. Aren't they cool though? <laughs> they are so cool. I, oh, there's like, nothing cuter, man. With the snake, like, it's easy to control oh, where yeah. they're going, but like these guys, they go. That's right. You know what I'm saying? It's a like, wild you, card. Does that make sense? Look at that little chomper. He'll get you too. Yeah, he's a little Watch mean. him. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So now that we have six, it's going to be much better. Look at our little chubby monkey over there. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. So this is the Goody Sapphire here, and the rack is completely finished. And this is where she is going to actually go when it's completely done. Right like that. And that gives you an idea of what these racks are going to look like. So we'll have 
this cage, we'll have four of these cages here. We'll have four a little bit shorter cages here, and then we'll have a couple big ones for the Goliath bird eaters. And of course, this will all be rocked out front with timbers on the sides. You know how I always picture stuff out, but essentially, that is what it's gonna be like. So one more job at least started. We still have a long way to go, but at least you get an idea of what this looks like. And as always, I'm gonna give you guys the weekly update of how salt and pepper are doing. Definitely getting some size to them. Go ahead, bud. Last week, he was 165 grams. He's actually only gained six grams, which is kind of interesting because it looks like he's absolutely gotten so huge. That's a little bit of a surprise to me, to be honest with you. But nevertheless, it's still growth rate, so that's good. And then salt was actually 87 grams, so let's see what she grew. Here it goes, sweetheart. Okay, 95 grams. So again, about seven grams or so. So it's kind of interesting. It looks like they slowed their growth down just a little bit, which is completely fine because they look really, really good. So she is closing in on that 100 gram mark that I was so waiting for. Usually once they hit about 100 or 110 grams, they really start to explode. So with any luck, salt will be 150, 180 grams here in another month or so. So Lori, what do you think? This is the new start to the erected wall. Okay, wait a second. What do you mean start to the arachnid wall? Like this is the arachnid wall <laughs> and it's huge. This <laughs> well, this is, is the arachnid bigger. wall. I'm just saying it's gotta be finished and it's not bigger. That's just about the perfect size I was thinking. That's huge. Really? That's a lot. Not really, I mean it gives us space for about 10 or so displays. That's a lot of spiders. No, I did not, not. I was not consulted on this because no, I would was. not have signed off on that. What? What? Are you kidding me? We had two. We have, and now well, we how have many a lot, do we have? We have a lot more. You wanna see them? How many more? I don't know, I can show you. I mean, this is our Goody Sapphire up here. I saw then, that. Yep, I'll show you the other ones, let's go. I think this is all of the ones that we have right here, if I'm not mistaken. I, I don't think we have any more. This one here is freaking me out. Look at this thing. Whoa. Oh my God. It's crazy. These are supposed to be really chill. This is just like Queen Elizabeth, but that thing is outrageously crazy. So that's a Mexican red knee. So that one right now isn't really handleable for whatever reason. Not really sure why. Great. This is the the uh, the Sturmi, which is the Goliath birding spider. So well, I know that's not handleable. That's not handleable, but that's okay. This one. That's okay. This one is zombie here. Right. That's so what that. I'm aware of. Yeah. And then this one. That one is, is Charlotte, Charlotte. Those which two is I know. The Chilean rose hairs. Then this one here is one of my favorite ones. Look at that. That's the Brazilian black one. That's Ew. that's handleable. That's a good one. Oh that's my almost God. like the rose this hairs. They're super nice. Too much. Too much. It's Way too, too much. much. No, it isn't. No. Yeah, it is. This is not the spiderarium. No, it this is. This is the reptile. And then take a look at this cute one here. This one's really cute. This cute. is a little. Oh. This is a curly hair here, and that one's handleable. So you can see a lot of ours are handleable. And then lastly, we've got this one here. Oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. Look at, look at, look at. It's a purple one. Look at that one. It's oh a purple my spider. God. Oh my God. This is literally what nightmares are made of. No, no, I'm that's a okay cool tarantula. This. So the, the purple one you don't handle, because that one will mess you up. And then lastly, we just have the scorpion. So that's it, that's Wait not that second. bad. What is that? No, there's nothing. Those are, those are molts, Lori. There's nothing over Number there. one, I don't like that because it looks like there's loose spiders, but there's a cage under that too, isn't no, there? No, that's an empty cage. There's nothing there. So what do we have? We have I one, two, you. three, four, Wild five, high. six, is seven. See, we only have seven spiders. It is empty. Lori, it's empty. There's lie all the time. That was where the curly hair used to live, and we moved it up into a bigger thing. So, this is too so much. we've got seven, and we have space for what? We have space for 10, so we can get two more spiders. Uh, no. Yeah. No. That'll be good, that'll be good. No. That Let me know in the comments if you guys like the idea of the arachnid wall, what I should add to the arachnid wall. I'm gonna kill you, that's what I think. No. Just straight up. No, yes. these are awesome, I love these yeah. things. These are awesome. <laughs> Look at this purple one. Literally terrifying. To another animal I'd like to get more of this year, to be honest with you, are African fat-tailed geckos. We work with so many leopard geckos, and African fat-tailed geckos come in a wide variety of amazing morphs too. Not as many as leopard geckos, but still pretty awesome. And this is actually Jasper here. It actually was over at the Reptarium for a while, but wouldn't eat. And I've told you guys, every now and then that happens. We have an animal over at the Reptarium that just doesn't seem to do well. We bring it over to BHB, we kind of put it into more of a rack-type system, and immediately it starts to take off again. It's still a little bit 
bit thin, but it's certainly putting a lot of body weight back on it. So I hope I can work with more of these cute, adorable little monkeys this year. Not everything I do in the vlog works out, you know. In this case, I actually missed a shot that was pretty cool. Eric and Mary told me that they had a crested gecko that was about ready to hatch, and they were just going to help it out a little bit because I guess the other sibling had already hatched out. They ended up filming it on their cell phone, and uh, here's the footage. Hey, he's coming out. And typically, I won't cut a lizard egg, to be totally honest with you, but in this case, the other one had actually hatched, and it was already like 12 or 14 hours since this one did, so they were concerned about it potentially drowning in the egg. As it turned out, it's completely healthy, and it's absolutely a beautiful little dude. So I'd say that was a pretty awesome day. We got our arachnid wall at least started. We have a ways to go, but it is definitely coming together, and we, of course, have our little alligators that are making our way. Look at all the little alligators all over the place. It is so cool to finally come over here and see a bunch of alligators. People are going to absolutely love it. I can't wait till people come to the Reptarium this weekend to see how they're going to react to it. And with all of that said, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog and call it a day and wish you guys an absolutely amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching. I did want to thank my friend Brandon for coming over and helping with the arachnid. And well, without him, it would have been much, much harder. So thank you, dude. I appreciate your support, my man. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn that post notification on so you know when I upload a video. Make a comment down below so I can read about your beautiful faces. Again, let me know about what you think about that arachnid. Well, be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.